Studios in Burbank, California. It's Dick Clark's Live Wednesday. Ladies and gentlemen, a great friend, a multi-talented, Mr. Nipsey Russell. met a girl who's a belly dancer and she's great at cooking a cake and I'm going over to her house tonight just to watch her shake and bake <laughs> I don't know why I'm in such a jolly mood it's been a bad day I got a letter from the undertaker today it was signed eventually yours <laughs> I guess it's because the holidays are upon us you see in my neighborhood the kids have a kind of a dubious reaction to that whole Santa Claus concept they just don't believe that a white man will ride a reindeer through Harlem after midnight. <laughs> but I was always big on the 4th of July. See, I was raised in the tradition of great Americanism and a belief in the virtue of a high ethical principle. I remember my dad telling me the story of George Washington and how when he cut down the cherry tree, his father did not punish him because he told the truth. That same year, I was out in Halloween with a bunch of country kids. I got the bright idea. I knocked the outhouse over the cliff. <laughs> Next day, my dad said, who knocked the outhouse over the cliff? I said, Dad, I cannot tell a lie. I knocked the outhouse over the cliff. Well, he set in to tan my hide, and you can see what a good job he did. <clears throat> I said, Dad, why are you whipping me? Don't you remember when George Washington cut down the cherry tree? His father did not whip him because he told the truth. He said, yeah, but George Washington's dad wasn't sitting in that cherry tree when George cut it down. I, I, Dick mentioned that I had just appeared in The Wiz. Since I've been in that movie, I have appeared in every major pleasure palace in the country. I mean exquisite, luxurious hotels. You know where the towels in the bathrooms are so thick and fluffy you can hardly close your suitcase. And I, <laughs> Oh, I see we got some budget travelers here, huh? I saw Dick last when I was in Las Vegas to do the Dean Martin Celebrity Roast. Did you ever see any of those roasts? They're all done at the MGM Grand Hotel, which has the same symbol they use at Metro Studio for years. Leo the Lion. As a matter of fact, he's all over the place. The curtain goes up in the Ziegfeld Theater, and there is a lion on the stage. Now, he's restrained by a thin steel cable on his collar, but you can't see the little cable, so you look and you say, hey, man, there's a lion on the stage. I remember the night we roasted Sammy Davis Jr. Dean Martin couldn't work, he was sober. So uh, Sammy and I <laughs> went in to see the show. The curtain goes up, the lion rushes on stage, looks right at me and Sammy like he knows our kinfolk from the old country or something, <laughs> and started to roar. Ow! I saw Sammy Davis cross himself. <laughs> I said, Sammy, what are you doing crossing yourself? Aren't you supposed to be a Jew? He said, I thought that sucker was loose. I didn't have no time to make no star David. <laughs> Oh, you better believe it. And so uh, when there's trouble, we Sicilians stick together. But anyway, I'm so happy to be here. I, I wanted to rectify one bit of misinformation. I was not raised singing in a gospel choir, and my father is not a minister. My dad was an attorney and a brilliant man. Graduation day, he sued the law school, got his tuition back. That's right. <laughs> And a militant. You talking about a militant black man, he died with a headache because he would not pick the cotton out of the aspirin bottle. <laughs> oh, so, listen, I'm telling you, my dad was probably the meanest man you ever saw, meanest looking. He came to see me, I was working at the Sands Hotel with Sergio Franchi. He was out in the casino watching him deal. There was a white man sitting there, had 21, looked at my dad and was scared to say blackjack. Dealer said, what you got? He said, gin. But I, was, <laughs> I did want to make a quick comment on the styles. They have these plastic pants now, see-through, and guess who, you see them? Oh, man. They got sort of a low-hanging seat, looks sort of like a loaded diaper. I saw two women the other day wearing a pair of these pants. One bow-legged, the other knock-kneed. Standing side by side, they spell, okay. <laughs> Listen, folks, I'd like to do a lot more for you, but I can't, I gotta go. So I just tell you, go out and shop for the season and have a good time. Don't worry about the expense. 
If you owe too much on your American Express and your Diners Club bill is too large, take a loan on your Bank of Mary card and pay it off with your master charge. Good night.